I'm Lauren Coglin, Managing Editor of Food Service Equipment Reports. We're here on day two of the National Restaurant Association show. I am in the KI showroom with Tom from Lab to Fab. Tom, can you introduce yourself? I'm Tom Kunkel with Lab to Fab. I run the sales and marketing team here. And Tom, tell me a little bit about the Frybot that you guys are showcasing. Yeah, so Frybot, which is right behind us, is a fully automated uh, frying and seasoning process. It uses collaborative technology that allows humans and uh, robots to work in the same space safely without restricting the flow of operations. So Tom, what are some of the problems that Frybot is solving for operators? Good question. So Frybot is labor availability, consistency, rising rise uh, wage rates. Frybot, you push a button, it's always on. Okay. Food waste, quality, consistency. With Frybot, you program it to do the same thing every time. Shakes for declumping, shakes for oil life and savings. You get all those kind of values. Uh, also, there's a trend going on where people want longer operations and doing food service for 24 hours with less people because they have less labor available. Sure. So this is allowing more to get done with less labor. So obviously, you already set yourself apart by winning a KI, but tell me a little bit about some of the differentiating factors of this product. Yeah, so good question. On the differentiation, Frybot is one of those things that you can roll into an existing operation and be, get up and running right away. It's not a complete reconstruction project and a new build. We're trying to get it with proven equipment that's already out there and we can make it automated just by rolling in the equipment within four hours we're up and running and frying food for new installs. It doesn't take days. Okay. Frybot also is really good at recovering from errors. So if I error out, I got a three button sequence to get back up and running within 30 to 60 seconds. So uptime is key. When you're hiring and automating someone to do frying, you wanna make sure they're always doing their job. Mm -hmm. So team member Frybot, it can recover from an error pretty quickly. And then lastly, you see how this is all integrated with Middleby. We have the dispensing ram that portions the food out and does mm -hmm. it exactly to wait. We're knowing we can trigger that load and be very flexible since we're fully integrated and embedded with all this automation. We got basket lifts that put it in and out of the oil to ensure that consistency of cooks. We want the same thing every time. We got these different shake sequences you see to make sure it happens. We're also the one of the only collaborative technologies where, hey, if I walk in here, it stops, and then when I walk out, it resumes its job. So I have an environment that's very flexible and dynamic and handles with, it, with the needs of a food service. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much for showing yeah. us the Frybot. This is Lauren Caglin with FER at the NRA Show.